Good morning, good afternoon, good night guys. What is up? It's Jojo and today was kind of rough. I just woke up on the bad side of the bed. Uh, I had some pain in my back, maybe too much vlogging, too much fun on the cruise. My video didn't perform as well as I liked it to and I just wasn't feeling that great. And I share this with you not to complain but to be transparent and just to showcase that even though I do Disney all the time and I vlog, some days I get sad too. I literally cleaned my whole house. Let me show you. I don't know if you guys think this is clean, but this is pretty clean. We only have one big box left that we have to get out of here. Anytime you guys send us stuff in our PO boxing, it stacks up really quickly. But I cleaned the countertop, I did the dishes, and Dan and Kyle haven't been home, so they haven't even seen the cleanliness yet. I mean, I went to the gym too. I just got back, took a shower. But even after doing everything that you're supposed to do, you know, keep your mind busy, work on yourself, work on your home, I still didn't feel that good. And I was literally about to retreat into my room for the rest of the night. I have a Disney Wish Cruise vlog, which is so much fun. I go into the Star Wars bar, but I just wasn't feeling it today. I don't want to edit something and half butt it I want to be fully committed and I just wasn't feeling good. Fortunately, my friend reached out to me and the crazy part is, it, it was Sean, you know, Sean. And he was like, are you coming? And then I didn't respond. And then he told me the time and, and I didn't respond again. And then he asked me a third time, are you coming? And I say this, I share this because sometimes we all have bad days, but push yourself to get out of that funk. I got my degree in clinical mental health, if you didn't know, and on my channel, one of my biggest goals is to promote mental health. And if I can share something of my experience to help you guys at home, so be it. So regardless, we're actually gonna force ourselves over to Disney Springs and get dinner with some friends. I really don't know how long this vlog is gonna be, but I'm sure my friends will brighten up my evening. If you enjoy, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. And I appreciate your patience on the Disney Wish vlogs. They're coming. The Florida sun do be hitting though today. I think it was just a combination of a lot of small things which erupted into a big issue in my mind at least. I must say coming outside though, is already making me feel a little bit better. So that's my biggest tip for you guys. If you're feeling down or in a rut, just get yourself outside. I didn't get to see anyone today. Like I haven't seen Kyle or Dan either. Usually when I'm by myself, I get sad sometimes. So let's get over to Disney Springs. I'm late. <laughs> the reservation was 15 minutes ago. Okay, so I can't play all the song right now because I don't want to get copyright struck. But one thing I love doing in my car is just playing my Kairos album from high school. That's always a good thing that gets me up. I think, honestly, let me roll up my windows here for a second. Driving in the car allows me to just think a little bit. And honestly, one thing that's definitely been on my mind is trying to balance my friends, my family, but working, you know? I love YouTube and I love this career. I'm so grateful for having you guys follow me, but between uh, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, sometimes it can get a little overwhelming. And I think once I got off the wish, it all just caught up to me really, really quick and I didn't give myself enough time to just relax. I wasn't even going to vlog today, honestly. I thought not vlogging was gonna help me, but it kinda just stressed me out more, so I figured why not? I do love vlogging. The act of vlogging is not a stressor on me at all. I love doing this, it's a passion of mine. I just think sometimes I try to do too much, and I feel like some of you guys at home can understand that. Anyway, we're like 20 minutes late to Disney Springs now. I'm gonna keep jamming out to some music. That song was my wish, I think. Here's a little tip everyone. Right now it's Thursday. Lime Garage says it's full. It's definitely not full. 
it's basically full, but there's at least a one spot in Lime Garage that I'm going to find. So if you don't want to go to Orange, even though it says full, trust me, it's not full. You can see cars leaving the garage right now, actually. See, look, it's not full. I mean, the first floor and the third floor are full, but not the second floor. Holy moly, Disney Springs is popping right now. Ah, Disney Springs. Honestly, just being around people is making me perk up and talking to you guys. I'm getting back into the groove of things. Now, I know everyone doesn't have Disney in their backyard, but that doesn't mean you can't go to the grocery store, the gym yourself, or just like a park, right? It's weird. Showcasing my life and my emotions actually make me happier. <laughs> I just hope this helps someone out there. Don't get me wrong, I love vlogging the parks and showcasing new things, but I do enjoy the occasional lifestyle vlog where I just get to update you guys on my life. Personally, things have been really good. The daily vlogging has been awesome, challenging, but in a good way. We're about to hit two months of daily vlogging and you guys have been so supportive. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna daily vlog for. Maybe a week break of daily vlogging would be good. And what I mean by break is not stop posting, maybe just not every day. We do have Alani in a week, <laughs> which I'm super hype about. I have never been to Hawaii before. You guys have been sending me tips about the place and I'm going with Kyle and that's gonna be a good time. The Disney Wish was a lot of fun. I mean, I know you guys have been watching the vlogs, but even just off the camera, Kyle and I really had a good time. We were able to work and enjoy the cruise at the same time. And if you can find a balance, that's lovely. And I know I say work because daily vlogging, YouTube is my job. It's my only job, it's my source of income. So finding a balance between, like I said, family, friends, it's tough sometimes, but tonight we are just vibing. Yeah. I love Raglan Road, but we're not eating dinner here. I got chills, that guy was amazing. And with the sunset, we are getting dinner at the Boathouse. My friend should be in there somewhere. Boathouse wasn't my favorite until I realized I have an oyster bar. Shout out my dad for putting me on. They're expensive, but they're delicious. I love the Lucky Duck oysters. Oh my God, they're selling out. The Great White, all of these are yum yum. <laughs> what? what? What the heck? <laughs> what? Oh, Someone didn't get the memo. No. no. Where's your hat? Dude? I, you didn't get the memo? I, I guess not. You gotta get one. Right I, where? Actually, I got the last one unless they have to put it back in a row. You hate your hat? Wait. so bad. Hey. hey. But Sean is the captain. Sean's the only captain. This is captain ourselves. Wow. Okay. This is. The crusty crew. Wow, the vibes have changed so quick from where I was to now. The crusty crew. The crusty crew. Oh man, did I miss dinner? Yeah, I'm sorry. We already ate. Uh, I did not realize this, but we are rolling squad deep. I haven't eaten back here in a long time. Last time I was back here was for my birthday in 2019, I believe. They usually, thank you, thank you. They do have a bar back here too. This place is popping. This place is full tonight, I must say. And it's only a Thursday. Oh, there's our table. All right, everyone, we are at our table. And surprisingly, Bow House is covering our first drink, which is awesome. <laughs> Nate's like, yes, sir. <laughs> and I am getting the strongest drink on the menu for that reason, the shipwreck right there. We got bread and it is glistening right now. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't eaten anything since the gym, so I'm excited. This is worth it. Oh, here we go. 
We got our hurricanes. Thank you so much, Bow House. So I don't want to get my hands dirty. I'm eating my roll with a fork. It's good. Man, this just goes to show, make sure you force yourself to do things even if you don't want to. Sometimes, sometimes you need a break. But tonight, I'm treating myself with friends. And it's paying off, honestly. Gosh darn it, I messed up. I should've gotten the Bloody Mary. I love Bloody Marys. You get a full on shrimp in there and a pepper, it looks yum. So Chris, what right. did you guys order? We got oyster shooters. So the oysters are in this. It's a vodka shot and concentrated Bloody Mary. Nate's never had an oyster before, so. All right, let's try this, everybody. I've never done this before. Oyster shot. Oyster, oyster shot. Woo! Oh my gosh. I can't believe an oyster just went down my throat. It felt that was weird. Good. Dude, I felt it, it, it was good go down my throat. Look, I'm yeah. even putting this back down because I'm gonna let it sit in. Yeah. 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 Old Bay? Is there Old Bay in there? Yeah, yeah you can taste, you can taste it. it. I mean, okay. I liked it. Oh, I, liked, it's good. I, I liked it. It just like it just tasted like Bloody Mary, but just a shot. Yeah. I didn't really taste the oyster. It was, it was a quick spicy. like it was a quick like, bloop. But I'm used to Bloody Mary, so it was good. The oysters here are definitely expensive but I had to get some. I got the Lucky Duck, and I wanted to get these great white ones, but they were sold out, but it's okay. Regardless, I'm just happy to be here with friends, just kind of being in a social environment, definitely bringing me up. Yeah, social. Holy moly, I got the Poke Bowl. It looks so good. They got the sliders of truffle fries. Oh my gosh, all of this looks delicious. My man Jonathan over there got the steak. People be eating good tonight. People be eating good. You got flame mignon? Dude, that looks delicious. Wow. Nate got the ribeye slider. <laughs> Thanks. He's holding it up. Uh, oh, not the slider, but... <laughs> Nate got the ribeye. That's so good. Wow. I mean, I love meat, and I feel like I messed up. You know, not getting meats, but I like my thing. Trying something new tonight. All right, everyone. I am extremely, extremely, extremely satisfied with this. This is the best tuna I've had on property, hands down. Holy moly. I didn't know this existed. It's the sauce that really does it for me. So all three of my Duck Duck Razzes are coming together, and they're going to hang out together. There they are. Are you, are you okay, Sean? I'm a proud father. <laughs> he's good, he's good. I'm Father Duck. Do you children want their names? John, Henry, and Luigi. Right there, over there. No, no, Luigi's right there. John, Henry, Luigi. You want a friend? Sure. Come on in. I'll call him He's a little dirty. He's a little dirty. He's a little dirty. Clean him then. A little dirty. I feel like we I call should take all our ducks and go let them free. Oh my god, in the story. Set them into the water. <laughs> go to the fountain, just let them all float around. This reminds me of uh, Disney's Caribbean hot tub. What? You ever been to the Disney Caribbean hot tub and only have one? It's very packed, just like this. We're in a contest We're for who to get the most, the most ducks, ducks in their duck duck razz. Go! Oh, oh! Rachel's got one. Oh! oh. oh. I got six. Dinner at the Bow House has gone in pretty crazy. Okay, so Sean 
took out the squeaker from the rubber ducky and he has put it into his mouth and Guys, we gotta stop. We're gonna get yelled at. We gotta get at. Like, we can't do this. Sean, please stop. We're gonna get yelled at. Sean's about to get tossed. Homemade chocolate syrup. Homemade caramel sauce. We got the macadamia turtle pie here. This is insane. It's nuts. Wow. I'm glad I came here tonight. Bo House has been hooking it up. And then we got the chocolate cake over there. Holy moly. Wow. I was not expecting this tonight. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Hey, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Francis. Happy birthday. I'm so happy I'm here. I was not expecting any of this tonight and it's been lovely. So this is my video to everyone watching. Push yourself to go into an uncomfortable zone, even if you don't want to, if you can afford it, both mentally, physically, or financially, do it. You might be rewarded with something you wouldn't expect. We got a nice cut of both pieces of cake. We're gonna try it right now. They look delicious. Okay, everybody, here we go. We're trying the chocolate cake first. Cheers. Obviously, if you can't tell, I'm in a very better mood than I was when I first started this vlog. And I do want to say, I wasn't trying to play on anyone's emotions. I really was not feeling the best and I feel so much better being a friend. So let's try this. I don't even like cake like that and that tastes delicious. So let's try the other one. Oh my god. This one's a little bit colder. Gosh darn. Both of them are delicious. I'm gonna have to go with the chocolate cake. Just because it's a little less cold, a little more warm. What do you have sensitive teeth? I do have sensitive teeth. <laughs> like really bad. I had like 11 cavities during the pandemic. Oh, what is it? Because I was just waking up and going to bed. I was like in a really bad state of mind. Drinking soda every day, playing video games. The pandemic was rough. Mm. But dessert is amazing. Seriously, thank you so much to the Bow House um, for giving us a free drink, free dessert. You guys definitely have to come to Disney Springs and try all of this. They're amazing. All right, we are wrapping up dinner. A big shout out, thank you so much to Bow House for having us out and covering some of the drinks and desserts. We had a great time. <laughs> Look at Sean. What? That's it's, it's another dining area. Yeah, we don't go to the fancy dining hall. Bow House, what a good time. Everyone, did you have a good time? Had a blast, Joe, Amazing. had a blast. Hey, what's your channel, by the way? LBV TV, never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. Yes. Thank you for telling me about that shot. Oyster shooters. That was actually really good, man. First time at Boat House? It changed my life for sure. <laughs> Jonathan, did you have a good night? It was my first time at Boat House and I loved it. Nice, Best. nice. Did you guys see we were doing the dirty dance out here? Dirty dancing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do not bring that Nate, up. Nate, Nate. <laughs> hey, yeah. I almost died. It sounds like you had a good time. Nate, no, did no, you have no, a good no. time? No, you, you know what I'm talking about. You know the lift. Yeah. It happened. Right, you and Sean, you and Sean. It was the practice. Yeah. I feel like I should go the other way. Oh, God. Are you doing Sean, right there's now? a chance you might fall. Oh my gosh, You're what's going on? He's gonna drop you. He's They're too doing the dirty dancey lift. Wait, this is not, no, this size does not match up. Can you not like by the flat move? <laughs> Wait, who's Well, it's about to happen. No, Sean, Sean, Sean runs against me. No, no, Sean runs at you. Yeah, no way, Sean is like seven feet. Yeah, but he could, it, that's it won't be hard happening. to lift him up. Uh-uh. 
Anyway, Sean. Did you have a good night? Come to Papa! Sean, did you have a good night? Oh, I had a great night. Honestly, yeah. Boathouse, beautiful evening. Favorite time here for brunch, dinner, whatever meal you want to have. It's a great time. Nice. Amazing. Yeah. Kristen, did you have a good night? Amazing, as always. Literally, the Boathouse never disappoints. Amazing meal, like usual. Fair enough. All right, I guess we're leaving. Have a good night, guys. Have a good night, everyone. I had a good night. Nate, did you have a good time? Amazing. Amazing. I'm happy I was able to see all my friends. As I'm making my way out, it's insane to me that Gideon's has a line still. It's 10.30. 30 minutes until this place closes. And people are just pulling up. All right, everybody, we are about to head out, but before we leave, always making new friends. Hey, what's your name? Fallon. And what's one fun thing you've done today? Uh, going to Animal Kingdom. Oh my gosh. Animal Kingdom is the best. I was just there the other night. Well, regardless, thank you for watching. All of my friends have gone home. I wanted to chill in Springs just for a little bit to check out my favorite clothing line, Uniqlo. Look at this. We got Steamboat Willie right here. All of these shirts are great and they're pretty cheap too. Only $19.90. I definitely recommend you guys check this place out. I'm probably gonna buy this shirt right here. That's just a vibe for me. If you guys don't know, oh my gosh, the store is closing in 15 minutes. If you guys don't know, I lost my cruise ship hat, so I need to replace it with a new item. We got the Avengers uh, Captain America right there. The Avengers black shirt, aliens, let's see, triple vision, okay. Huey, Dewey, Louie, there's so many cute outfits here. We got Sully from Monsters Inc., a Woody, Toy Story. Listen, this place is such a vibe. I think we just caught the new arrival. Oh my gosh, they're still announcing that they're leaving, but we're looking, Mike, Sully. I'm crazy, that's definitely me. 100% Iron Man. Again, these shirts are only 15 bucks. Guys, I'm telling you, if you wanna get some trendy, cheap shirts, come to Uniqlo, this place is a vibe. Okay, everybody, with all that being said, I had a really fun, unexpected night here in Disney Springs at Boat House, hanging out with some amazing friends. I truly try to be transparent on my channel when I can, when it's not infringing on my personal life. And today, I felt like it was important to share with you guys that I wasn't feeling the best. And don't get me wrong, like I still have some lingering issues, but coming out, hanging out with my friends, which by the way, I didn't tell them anything, but you know, they just brought me up. And that's what I hope you guys have at home. And if you don't have a friend, reach out to a family member, and even if you don't have any of that, which I'm sure you do, even if you don't believe it. Just get out of the house, go to a park, go to the gym. Just don't stay at home and being alone in your thoughts. Just going out into public really helped me. As a content creator, my job is making videos for you guys. So if I'm not making videos, I'm kind of just at home. And that's when I get into a rut, when I'm not communicating with any of my friends or I'm not making videos for you guys. So I'm really glad I forced myself to not only vlog, but come out here because I'm feeling so much better. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. And let me know if you want more mental health videos. It's okay to not be okay, but definitely try to get out there. Uh, I, I know I keep saying this, but the cruise vlog is coming. I wasn't in the best spirits to edit the vlog, but it's so good, so stay tuned. Bye.